when a woman gives everything she has to a man my name is olushegun mokuolu did you know that as a woman you can give everything to a man and the man will not respect you will not appreciate you and he will not treat you right in fact that man can easily abandon you you may be the one paying the school fees of the children. You may be the one feeding the man. You may be the one who built the house. You may be the one who pays for the car. You may be the one doing everything. Now, the natural expectation is that such a man will appreciate, will appreciate such a woman greatly and love that woman greatly, but not so. A man does not love a woman because of the sacrifice that woman is making. A man would only love you if he hears God. Let me show you. In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25, the Bible says, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. This is God telling the man to love his wife. As a woman, it is not your responsibility to win the love of your husband. It is your husband's responsibility to hear God. Any man that hears God, that man is going to love his wife because it is god that tells a man to love his wife it is god that shows a man how to love his wife if you marry a man that can't hear god you have married a man that cannot love you it is the man that obeys the word of god that will love you so don't be surprised don't be shocked that in spite of everything i've done for this man he can still abandon me for another woman. He can still be chasing girls everywhere. He will not greet me. He will not show affection. He will not appreciate me. He treats me like I am nothing. And yet I have done everything. I have sacrificed my life for this, for this man. I have achieved nothing other than to give everything to this man. And yet this man is still treating me like this. That man does not hear God. That's why he does not love you. I tell you the truth. Only a man that he has God, can love his wife as Christ loved the church. There's different kinds of love in the world. But the one that has been recommended in marriage is as Christ loved the church. So the, that's why we encourage singles that ensure you marry a man that is genuinely born again. I'm not talking of pastors. I'm not talking of somebody who speaks in tongues because I hear people say, oh, but he's speaking in tongues, but he's a pastor. But is this? No, the Bible says by their fruit you shall know them. How can a man who abandons his wife and is committing adultery, how can you say that man is a child of God? What makes him a child of God? Where is the fruit of the Holy Spirit in that kind of life? Where is purity? Where is grace? Where is mercy? Where is joy? Where is peace? All right? So the reason is not because you are not good enough. The reason is that he does not hear God. So don't think that maybe you have not done enough. My dear sister, you have done enough. My prayer is that your husband will hear the voice of God, repent of his sin, and come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. It is then that that man can hear God saying, love your wife as Christ loved the church. And it is then that he can love you. But I've just made this to help you have a perspective so that you are not in a state of depression, wondering what else do you need to do. There's nothing you, else you need to do. It is only God that makes a man to love his wife. And a man that cannot hear God cannot love his wife as Christ loved the church. I am your brother and my name is Olusha Gumokulu. God bless you.